hello friends and engineers uh, right now I will show you how to find the catchment area from the Google Earth or Google Earth Pro easily that is very easy from uh, the ArcGIS I have already imported the uh, alignment into the Google Earth Pro this is our alignment and for example this is our uh, point of view and this is our uh, uh, culvert or any structures that's located at this point okay now I'm going to this one add polygon I'm clicking to add polygon and uh, renaming the add polygon for example uh, what you say box culverts this is uh, I have uh, made a name and in this one I'm going to define the color of my uh, uh, boundary, boundary of my cache material. For example, this one is correct, and I'm uh, going to change the weight to four, and the opacity uh, should be hundred. And also, I'm coming to altitude. The altitude should be uh, clamped to uh, relative to the ground. <coughs> it should be that uh, we should to f uh, we can define or find uh, a very accurate uh, catchment area. And uh, this is our uh, measurements from which we measurement we are going to find our catchment area, the parameter, uh, and the area also should be square kilometer. Everyone from every uh, measurement that he wants, for example, the square meter, hectares, square feet, everything. Now I'm going to find the uh, catchment area from the square kilometers. Okay, and this is our uh, uh, structure location. Now we are making the files. For example, we are going to find the catchment area accurately, and this is the top uh, location of our streams. And uh, I'm just going to put in the, uh, the points in every location of our my uh, stream in the, in the areas and these points and everyone should do be so much accurately and every uh, putting the pine this is the, our pine and uh, after this we are going to draw the, uh, the part of our streams and uh, I'm going to say you and ask you to please subscribe my channel and I'm going to show you the easy pine and easy tricks of engineering, engineering. this is and the, uh, the area point now I'm going to find how much is the kilometer how much is the area this is the 0 0.61 square kilometers the area and also this is the parameter 3.86 uh, kilometers and I'm going to okay and also we can may, make any changes go to its property for example I'm going to filling uh, the opacity Mm, 50 percent yes. and also uh, now we have finished the and uh, drawing of uh, the boundaries yeah. now i'm going to show you how to draw the uh, the streams like this for example i'm going, I'm going to come at this button add part but they are saying that uh, Paths uh, like before, I'm going to uh, find define a color and also the weight. This one also should be related to ground, and the length should be kilometer. For example, I'm coming like this. Please draw every single point accurately. Now the final stream path is finished and I'm going to draw these paths also. Please follow me. Okay, now we are at the end of this video and uh, 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 the stream source also drawn. Now I'm going to find the uh, find the now I'm going to find the slope of this uh, stream that we have drawn here. We are coming to the drawn uh, stream paths. I'm clicking on this and we are going to its properties. Mm, this is the length of this. Uh, uh, 
now we are going to show elevation profile and this profile it shows our uh, uh, slope. we can find easily the average slope of our uh, uh, stream path that we have drawn here for example this is the max slope average slope and uh, anything you want thank you please subscribe my channel